Hey witches, what's up and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Barbie and I sell crystals and I talk about crystals on YouTube. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, you guys, so we are in a new filming background. I like the lighting a lot better up here. I think it'll show the crystals a lot better. My hair looks different. Everything's a little bit different. We're trying something new. This week we have a super gorgeous crystal haul from last week's video which if you didn't see last week's video I will link it up above and in the description box down below but last week I went to the Minnesota gem and mineral show it was so much fun you guys have to go check out that video hopefully it inspires you to go check out a local gem show it was so much fun so this is the haul of everything we got there is a ton of stuff in here so without further ado let's jump in and these crystals are for my personal collection this wasn't a wholesaler show though I think some of the vendors do sell wholesale but this is just really a personal collection haul I'm gonna share all of the vendors with you guys in case you want to check them out support them purchase from them so yeah let's get into it so the first crystal I picked up is chrysoprase and this is a more of an uncommon crystal I picked it up in the raw form so let me show you guys what this one it looks like up close. So this is what the chrysophrase looks like up close. It's this really beautiful deep green color. I believe this is actually what is in the green flower agate that's been popping up everywhere. It's just a super unique color and I believe it's composed of some copper that makes it turn this green color. So that is the first crystal that I picked up. Next, I got two pieces of Tiffany stone. And if you guys don't know what Tiffany stone is, Tiffany stone is a rare material that is only found in Utah and it is quite pricey because they are no longer mining this specific type of Tiffany. There are other types of Tiffany that are still being mined, but this specific type of Tiffany is no longer being mined. So that's why it is so rare. I would say it's more rare than diamonds because it's only found in one place in the world. So let me show you guys what these look like up close. Look at those gorgeous colors, you guys. These are a super deep purple Tiffany. It's really hard to find Tiffany with this much purple in it. Tiffany stone is comprised of a bunch of different minerals which make it super unique and you guys these pieces were not that expensive you could get Tiffany for hundreds of dollars so you can see this piece was only $20 and this piece was $30 and Tiffany stone is so good for so many healing properties so I'm super excited to get some Tiffany at an affordable price so unfortunately I wasn't able to get a business card for them if I do find their shop name I will make sure to link it it in the description box down below. So this is the next crystal I picked up and I'm so excited to show you guys. So you guys, I haven't opened these crystals since I bought them almost two weeks ago. So it's like I'm seeing them for the first time up close again and I'm so in love. So this is the next crystal I got. It's a giant buffalo. It is so cute and this is a honey calcite buffalo and I believe this one is from Utah if I'm not mistaken. But how cool is this? It's this like chunky buffalo and it has beautiful white inclusions on it. This is what it looks like up close. The color is so dark and juicy and this is the backside and you can see you guys the price was only $50 for a giant piece of calcite that's carved in this cute little buffalo shape. That is such a good deal. If you were to buy this at a store, you could pay up to $75 to $100 for a carving this big. So a really, really good price. And I actually have a baby version of one of these that I got from one of my Patreon members. So now I'll have a little family of honey calcite buffaloes. So the shop I bought the buffalo at is called Mystic Moraine Minerals. They do a ton of events in the Twin Cities area. They were at the Gem Show. They're also at the Renaissance Festival. Lots of places to locally shop them. Here is their card information and there is their 
Facebook if you guys want to go check them out. And you guys, make sure to watch until the end because that's what I'm going to be showing the Laguna agates that I got that were the super expensive pieces. So they're coming. Make sure to watch till the end because you will not want to miss this. So the next crystal I picked up is this little pyrite cube. I've always wanted one of these and they're typically attached to a matrix, but this one is not. So a matrix is the host stone. This one doesn't have the host stone. So I definitely wanted to pick this up. Pyrite is so good for money manifestation. So let me show you this one up close. So this is the pyrite cube. How cute is this? And it has a baby cube growing off of it. It's so adorable. I just love how these form naturally. This is not polished. Pyrite forms in cubes. So I just had to pick one of these mini cubes up because it's so adorable. And this same shop had some amazing rhodochrosite. And if you guys have watched my channel before, you know I'm obsessed with rhodochrosite. So I was able to get a super high quality piece of rhodochrosite from Peru. And let me show you guys what that one looks like. So this is the super high quality rhodochrosite. Look at those orbs. This one just caught my eye because these orbs are an indication of higher quality quality crystals. So that is why this is a higher quality piece of rhodochrosite. The color is absolutely stunning and you get the same orbs on the back. You guys can see it was a $50 price point for this beautiful slab. It's a pretty chunky slab, but I absolutely love this. The pattern on this is insane. So here is the shop that I picked those crystals up from. I will make sure to link his Facebook down below. Really nice guy, amazing quality rhodochrosite. And these next set of crystals were from Sand and Rose. They had an absolutely beautiful boutique. You guys, I picked up some amazing crystals. I'm so excited to show you guys these ones. So the first thing I picked up is this double dolphin onyx carving. I absolutely love dolphins. I have a pretty big collection of crystal dolphin carvings, but this one was so unique because there are two dolphins and it's in onyx, which is a really beautiful stone, which this onyx Onyx is technically a calcite, but nonetheless, the trade name is Onyx. So this is what this one looks like up close. Just absolutely beautiful patterning, a very beautiful high shine polish. And if you turn it around, it is so pretty on this side. I just love the green, the red, the orange, the brown. It's just such a gorgeous color combination. And you guys can see this one was made in Pakistan. So just a really unique crystal carving. And you guys, this carving was only $19. And I thought it was such an affordable piece for how much material and how much work went into carving this. The next crystal I picked up is this gorgeous rose calcite tower. This tower is from Indonesia and it's absolutely beautiful. So let me show you guys what this one looks like up close. So this is the absolutely stunning rose calcite. The color is just so juicy and dark and the patterning on it is absolutely beautiful. This material can be pretty expensive. So I saw that they had these really nice towers and I just had to pick one up. Absolutely stunning. And the price on this one wasn't too bad. It was only $18 for this tower, which is absolutely stunning. So really, really gorgeous find. And you guys, this next piece is like one of the most stunning pieces of carnelian that I have ever seen. So I had to snag it. Okay, you guys, I know it's totally not doing it justice from this far away, but I will show you up close. But this carnelian is literally one of the most beautiful pieces of carnelian I've ever seen. They had some amazing carnelian, maybe some of the best, highest quality carnelian that I have seen to date. So let me show you guys what this one looks like up close. It's so beautiful. It is just stunning all the way around. It has these amazing inclusions and colors and patterns and it just looks like little fireworks everywhere. I just couldn't get over how beautiful it was. This one was like screaming at me. I had to grab it and I'm so glad I did. There were so many other pieces of carnelian that I wanted to grab that they had. And I usually am not drawn to carnelian, but this one just spoke to me on another level. So 
absolutely stunning. And one of the best things about this shop is they give you little ID cards so you can learn more about your crystal. Here are what all the cards look like. You get one for each crystal, which is such a nice touch. And then their branding is on the back. And here is their business card. I will make sure to link them down below so you guys can check them out. Probably one of my favorite shops in the whole gem show. Okay, you guys, and now the moment that you all and I have been waiting for is the Laguna agates that were really expensive but that are in these two boxes. Okay, you guys, so this is box number one. I'm gonna open it with you because I've totally forgotten what I got. So there is the card and the price. This one actually wasn't too expensive, hence why I picked it up, but really cool card. I actually like that. Here's the back side of the agate. Okay, you guys. I mean, what? This is so gorgeous. It's like a really soft pink with kind of an orange line. I don't know if that's picking up on camera or not, but the quality of this agate is insane. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. It's just so stunning, raw on the back, but just insanely gorgeous. One million percent worth the $38. Okay, you guys, and here's the second one. So this one was $85. So together they were both over $100. There were some that were there that were worth thousands of dollars, which was tempting, but I did not get them. This is so insane. I am dying. I have no words for how freaking gorgeous this is. So this is actually a condor agate and it is from Argentina. So this is not a Laguna agate, but it's very, very similar to what the Laguna agates look like. If this one were Laguna agate, it would be, I think in the hundreds of dollars of price range, but I'm gonna try to show you guys up close, like how insane this is. The color is definitely desaturated on the camera. It is way more pink in person. And that is what the side looks like. And that is what the back looks like. So it is a pretty chunky rock, but it's absolutely stunning. I fell in love with it. I wanted to literally buy every single agate that he had. So his shop was out of Colorado, so he was not local to Minnesota, but he had honestly some of the best Laguna agate that I have ever seen. I definitely am on the hunt for more Laguna agate. It's just so unique, probably one of the most beautiful forms of agate there is in the whole world. So that was everything that I picked up at the Gem and Crystal Show. I didn't want to go too crazy because it's a really easy to get carried away and spend thousands of dollars. I was looking at getting some more Ethiopian opal, but it was like $20 a gram or something crazy like that. So I resisted but really, really great finds, some excellent shops. I will link all the shops down below if you guys wanna go check them out, follow them on social media, buy from them. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a super big thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my future videos on crystals and witchy content. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye! And before I go, a special thank you to all of my patrons. You keep this channel alive and running. If you're interested in joining my Patreon, I will leave a link in the description box down below. This is a great way to show support to the channel. Or if you're looking for additional business advice, I offer this as well. So I look forward to seeing you on my Patreon.